Patreon, how are you guys doing? Love you guys, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you guys. So I figured, I haven't talked about this in a while. Let's talk camouflage. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not gonna get into depth. I'm not really gonna go into like ghillie suits, um, stuff like that, or natural vegetation. I'm gonna go with readily available camouflage patterns and some bonus stuff, not camouflage, but earth tones. So we can see how well they work. And this is my environment. So that we can see, you know, there's a lot of brown. If you look closer, there's a lot of brown. See, a lot of browns up in that area. There's some greens, different things like that. So basically you get an idea of what these camouflages, how effective they are, what they look like in this kind of environment. So, <clears throat> um, so let's get started. I got a tote here full of a bunch of different camouflages. This is, and some of them are faded, you know, come on, because I use them. Um, this is Marpat, Marine Pattern, Woodland Digital. Yes, you may shoot your BB gun. Over there? Yes, over there. Okay. So Marpat, Marine Woodland. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you each one here. And these are all pants, just because it was easy for me. Um, and I'm going to show them to you. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to lay them out on the ground over here so that you can see what they look like. And I'm just going to lay them like this for um, space purposes because I don't have that much space to show you everything. So let's just take this, make sure you're on film. All right, that's good on film. So let me actually scoot it over so you can still see those. All right, and you can see, you know, and the lighting and stuff like that, you can't necessarily tell really exactly how they look. Maybe more like that, you can see. So let me lay these more like, like that. <clears throat> Maybe that's a better representation. It's, you know, it is what it is. You can kind of see. Um, okay, so let's, let's stay. Yes, baby. I can go up there? Yes, you may. Okay, <clears throat> so let's go old school for a minute. Get some good old woodland camouflage, right? This is, you know, US military issue camouflage. Um, you can see the label there. Yeah. Um, this is, these are ones that I wore when I was in back when we still wore these. Um, and actually still, these are still in use because they are a very effective pattern in different environments. Some of the special operations units are going back to this, actually. So let's throw this over here. There you go. Look at that. That's actually much more effective than that is. Why? Because of the bigger patterns. The digital stuff is what it is. I'm not really a super fan of the digital stuff, um, but let's let's continue with this. Speaking of digital stuff, and we're gonna go from old school to new school. <clears throat> what am I talking about? This is Navy AOR2. I forget the other designation for it, which is area of responsibility number two, because our primary AOR1 is the desert currently so the desert one is totally different obviously doesn't apply to my AO here right now so I'm not going to show it to you guys but this is a digital pattern with digital woodland um, you can see it pretty effective it's actually pretty darn effective here put this up against me and if I walked if I walked back in those woods you wouldn't see me at all right and you got to cut the marpat some slack also like I said it's pretty faded so that's probably why you're getting that doesn't look as great. Whereas the colors on this are really vibrant because it's a pair I haven't worn very much. So that does come into play. So let's take these right here. Let's throw them right there and let's see. Still, that's still the most effective, I think. So let's go on to some more. <clears throat> let's stick with a military pattern here before I get off into some more civilian companies, but military wears them and uses them only in special operations units where they have a choice though. So what is this one? This is one of my favorites. I really like this. What is this? This is Flectarn. This is German Flectarn camouflage. And I believe this is the newest version of it. There are older versions that have more, um, just different variations in the coloration. Um, but yeah, this is Flectarn. And this company is a good company. Oh yeah, well of course it is. It's Helicon. Helicon. 
or Helicon Techs. I just call them Helicon. Um, CPU pants, combat patrol uniform pants. <clears throat> so, this is really good in a woodland environment also. Imagine me going back in the woods back in there. It's a little bit darker though than the other stuff we've seen. So let's check it out. Let's see what it looks like over here. And like I said, you gotta understand, this is just one example of an environment. It's not the end all be all. But we're just placing them out here to see what they look like. <clears throat> there we go. And also, you gotta understand, is that over there where they're at, I just got a little sliver in me. Um, over there where they're at, the sun is actually hitting different portions of them. I just saw that on the pants right there. So also take that with a grain of salt. So let's go on. Um, let me see, what do I got here? All right, let's finish off the traditional military patterns with, you guessed it, multicam. Multicam, these are also, I think, Helicon, or no, no, okay, these are proper. Proper trouser, trouser utility combat, army combat uniform. So by proper, um, there you go, you see the proper label. Um, they make, they're good quality pants. Um, one thing I did do is I added a multi-cam canvas type knee pad over the knee pad so I can put the padded part underneath also, but it makes it a lot more durable for when I'm out operating. Anyway, so that is multi-cam. As you can see, it's fairly effective also in this environment. What I like about multi-cam though is see how, <clears throat> see how you do have greens and you got browns and you got a variation of terrain. Even here, it looks wooded. Most people assume green, but it's not always green. Multicam is a pretty darn good pattern, actually. Pretty cool, pretty good, pretty effective. So let's go put it over here. There we go, let's look at it. Ah, eh, it's really picking up some shine. So that's not necessarily what it looks like. Let me adjust it a little bit. See if that helps at all. Eh, doesn't really help, so, but that's, I mean, that's what you see, what you see. <clears throat> okay, what do I got here? This doesn't really fit the AO, but I figured I'd show you guys it because it's one of the cool guy patterns. A lot of people love this pattern, the tactical cool crowd. What is it? It is Cryptek Highlander. Cryptek Highlander. Um, it is a, basically, it looks like snakeskin, kind of like. See all the little patterns and micro patterns? Very effective camouflage. Um, so this is um, Cryptek, and these are actual, um, yeah, actual Cryptek pants, um, and they're really light, night, hear that, lightweight, um, really cool, stuff like that. So let me button them up here, um, and then let me throw them all around here, even though these are more of a, as you can see, an arid environment type thing, but let's see. <clears throat> there you go. And the kind of material it's made out of is a little more conducive to shining. It is what it is. Like I said, it's not perfect. All right, I'm running out of space over there, so I'm going to have to do something. Let me move the pants up a little bit and then create some more space. Okay, there's some more space. <clears throat> Staying on the lines of the um, Cryptek patterns. We have Cryptek Mandrake. This is one of my favorite patterns. I love this pattern. It is not widely available um, a lot of places, but as you can see, it is very effective. It, this, and the next pattern I'm going to show you are my two favorite patterns for my AO, for my environment. There you go. Good stuff here. I love this stuff. All right, where am I gonna throw it? Oh, I will throw it right there. Still, I'll tell you what, I'll be honest with you guys, I still think that works the best. Um, even though you can still see it, it still, it breaks up the outlines and stuff the best. So, and then along with that, I think that pattern, which is the uh, Flectarn, works pretty well. And like I said, lighting comes into play. And when we're done, I'll take the camera off the tripod and I'll walk over there and I'll show you guys closer. Um, okay, so this is overall my favorite pattern for my AO. And this is ATAX FG, which stands for Advanced Tactical, Advanced Tactical Concealment System FG, Forest Green. 
It is a non-digital pattern made up of a lot of uh, organic patterns and then sub-patterns in there creating depth and stuff like that. So the Russian Special Forces really love this stuff. Um, they use this stuff a lot also. The ATAX FG. So let's throw it on the ground and see what it looks like. Where do I have room? Right in front. There we go. I'll show you a little bit closer. All right, and then just for a comparison feature, I figured I'd throw this in there. It's not really a camouflage, but it's a leaf suit. It's a uh, leaf suit pants. What I like about this is when you're moving around, it creates mo motion, which sometimes motion's good, sometimes it's bad. If you want to appear natural, sometimes this works. This is a very not really good um, version of a ghillie suit, but in some applications, this might be useful. So let's, uh, let me see, where do I got room? Um, that's over there, so over here I have room. <clears throat> there you go. What's, what, what's nice about that is you see that, and that's kind of cheating because it's not really a camouflage pattern. The depth created by all the little leaves gives it um, texture. So the texture on that really helps it blend in where none of these have texture. So that's kind of cheating. But um, so those are the camouflages. And let me see, how am I gonna do this? I think what I'll do is I'll pick up all the camouflage and then I will put down some earth tones. Actually, no, I'll just, you know what? I'll just put the camera down a little bit more like this and throw some earth tones up here up front. So let's talk about, it. yes, you may go over there. So earth tones, I really like earth tones. As you see, I'm wearing brown, you know, brown Carhartt work pants, just a brown t-shirt. That's what I really like. So I really like these pattern, these pants. These are the uh, 511 and they are the capital pants. You're okay, baby girl, there's nothing out there. You may walk over there, it's safe. These are the 511 capital pants in I believe mud brown. So let's, uh, we got space right here. Just kind of throw them down like that for comparison. <clears throat> All right, these are my favorite tactical pants hands down ever made. I love these pants. These are the Helicon, made in Poland, Helicon um, Urban Line. So these are Helicon Urban Line. Love these pants. These are my favorite tactical pants, hands down, ever made. With the exception of ones that are like three or four or five hundred dollars a pair. <laughs> These are about eighty dollars a pair. So budget favorite tactical pants. But no, in reality, you know, if I'm gonna spend my money on something, I'm not gonna spend more than eighty dollars for a pair of pants. I mean, not when there's options like this out there. So this is Helicon um, Urban Tactical Pants. And this is one of my favorite colors. This is um, adaptive green, adaptive green. That's my favorite ball cap is an adaptive green also. So let's see how well this works. Just throw them out there. Adaptive green, eh. It would be better with them on me out there in the woods. All right, so here is another pair of pants. This is the, these are the Conquistadors from um, MTAC, not MTAC, MTAC, which is a Ukrainian company <laughs> a Ukrainian tactical gear company. So these are tactical pants. Um, and yes, they have the European style slim fit. Um, that's why I don't really wear these out and about. These are just training and yard pants because of the way they fit. I don't wanna feel like I'm wearing skinny jeans. But in a tactical environment, they're actually very comfortable and very useful. Um, and you know, they have different, uh, here's the little, little label I can show you guys, MTAC. <clears throat> OD green. So this is just an example of OD green. There you go, OD green. Okay, back to another pair of my favorite tactical pants, which are the Helicon Urban tactical pants. And these are in, um, I forget if these were called mud brown or coyote tan. I believe they're mud brown. Eh, I don't know. But they're, uh, they're brown ones. So these, I love these pants. Like I said, I love these pants. <laughs> All right, so let's just throw those down right there. 
and there you can see all the pants all the different colors all the different camouflages so let's here let me i'll do a, a kind of a a self-made um ah, self-made selfie stick here where i just hold it uh, i'll get a closer view of them so you can kind of see the different pants from a different angle that shows you maybe some of the patterns more effectively that's a pretty good angle right there that shows you the patterns a lot better and look at the look at the cryptech right there look how good it looks how well that works in the environment works really well um, as well as the atax fg um, it doesn't look so great right there um, because of the background is more sub, um, conducive to the uh, the organic and the bigger um, breakup patterns of the um, cryptech but that's a good representation and then showing the earth tones which I really like earth tones obviously not as effective as a camouflage but there we go all right so let's go back over here put myself back on my uh, my stick my tripod and uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video um, this is just a show of what the different camouflages look like, what these different camouflages look like. I'm not saying that you necessarily need camouflage or anything like that. What I prefer um, for us as preppers, not military, and for um, SHTF, you know, end of the world as we know it kind of stuff, is I prefer earth tones um, complemented with things like the leaf suit as a quick overall or a quick just pullover option and like a Solter's ghillies and or full-on ghillie suits because that gives you the option to add natural camouflages. It's much more effective. And if you're in a situation where you're out operating, you know, you're out doing the tactical things and um, something happens and then you gotta like ditch all your gear and walk into town, you can't ditch your gear and walk into town wearing this kind of stuff. Or they're gonna be like, hey, look at that dude right there wearing the multi-cam or whatever it is. Um, whereas if I ditch all my gear and walk into town, you know, dressed like this, they'd be like, oh, hey, look at that, uh, you know, that dude just got off work or something like that, right? That's what I like about earth tones. Um, I like having the option of camouflages. I love camouflage. I'll be honest with you, but I don't really ever wear it that much. I guess I just like looking at it. I like hanging in my closet and having options. So anyway, I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you guys. Um, have a wonderful day and blessings to you and yours.